It's great to be here in the Northern Rivers today to make a significant environment announcement, building on Labor's history of protecting the Northern Rivers, going all the way back to 1982 when Neville Rand protected the rainforest here on the North Coast. This is a significant step forward in ensuring that we continue to protect this pristine environment. Today I'm announcing that Labor will ban CSG extraction and exploration from the six councils that make up the Northern Rivers. I've spent my time working and listening to this local community and there is no doubt that this is a region that deserves to be protected for future generations. A region that has built a business, whether it's tourism or agriculture, on the back of the pristine environment. We now have businesses in this region exporting agricultural produce like milk and sugarcane to the world based on the pristine environment that they produce those goods. We have a tourism industry that is built on the back of national parks founded by Labor, bringing people, international tourists as well as local tourists, to this region. We have a community that has spoken out and made their voices heard loud and clear. And today, I'm proud to announce that a Robertson Labor government will protect this region for all time from coal seam gas extraction. The Northern Rivers will be a no-go zone after March 2015 if Labor is elected. The people in this region know the risks associated with coal seam gas extraction. I went and visited Bentley Blockade, I've met with farmers, I've met with dairy producers, I've met with tourism operators. And all of them have made one thing abundantly clear, and that is that they have used the environment, the environment that they produce milk, the environment that they produce the sugar cane in, the environment that they take international and domestic tourists to, to build a business model that will allow this region to grow, to grow with employment opportunities. And the last thing we ought to be doing is jeopardising the hard work of so many local business people and jeopardising the environment that so many people have chosen to live in. This policy will ensure that coal seam gas extraction and exploration can never happen in the Northern Rivers. What Labor is proposing is to make the Northern Rivers region a no-go zone when it comes to coal seam gas exploration and extraction. This announcement builds on what Labor has done over many, many years when it comes to protecting the environment. It builds on the announcements that I've already made from opposition about Labor protecting water catchment areas from coal seam gas extraction. This is a region where we have businesses that are building export opportunities and growing their, the employment opportunities for people in this region on the back of this pristine environment. It's also a region where 87% of people voted to have no coal seam gas extraction in the region. It's this park, this very park, where Lismore came together and started this campaign to build the momentum, to make their voices heard, to say they do not want this industry in this region jeopardising the pristine environment, jeopardising the beauty that is this wonderful area on the north coast of New South Wales. I've been very open and upfront about this. I've said both sides of politics have been too quick to rush into this industry. But that doesn't mean that we can't fix and correct those mistakes. This policy, this announcement, ensures that this region will not suffer any consequences or risks associated with coal seam gas exploration and extraction. I've spoken to the farmers, I've been out, I've met with Norco, uh, I've met with beef producers, I've talked to the tourism operators. Uh, the people in this region have made it abundantly clear this is not an industry that would be welcome here and more importantly, this is not an industry that doesn't risk the beauty and the pristine nature of the region. Well, I'm going to make sure that if Labor is elected First and foremost, coal seam gas extraction and exploration cannot proceed in this area. I will then ensure that we don't find ourselves forced to pay compensation to these operators. You need not just a formal licence, but you need a social licence for an industry like this. And the one thing this industry does not have is the social licence to operate in this region. And Labor 
is backing in the businesses, the residents and protecting this region from this industry. Well, this builds on Labor's historic record of protecting the environment in this region, but it also builds on the announcements that I've made. I've said some time ago that Labor will ban coal seam gas exploration and extraction in the Sydney catchment areas. I've also said that if we're elected, we will map the water catchment areas right across New South Wales to implement a similar ban in those regions. So this is not the first announcement that we've had when it comes to coal seam gas extraction and protecting the environment. We know we have to protect the environment. We know in particular we have to protect the water aquifers, the groundwaters, because we live on one of the driest continents in the world. And the last thing we should be doing is jeopardising our water supplies for the future. We're talking about coal seam gas and unconventional gas exploration and extraction being banned from the north coast of New South Wales. The Northern River's six local government areas will have a ban if Labor is elected in March next year. What I've said is that we should push the pause button right across the state when it comes to coal seam gas extraction. And I arrived at that conclusion some time ago because we don't know the full impacts of coal seam gas. And until such time as we fully understand the consequences of coal seam gas exploration and extraction, I've said we should push the pause button until the science is properly developed and there is a very clear understanding of what goes on. And I came to that conclusion based on what I've seen in areas like the pharmaceutical industry, where if a new drug is coming onto the market, before it's allowed to be marketed, everyone needs to understand the impacts of that new drug. We ought to be applying the same precautionary principle when it comes to coal seam gas extraction. That's why I've said push the pause button right across New South Wales until we understand the science. But this area in particular has made its voice heard loud and clear. 87% of people have said they don't want coal seam gas extraction. I've met with Norco who, have, who are building a business, exporting to China. They're getting $9 a litre for fresh milk. And for dairy farmers, that's a long way from what they've been getting over previous years. And it's an opportunity to grow the dairy industry once again here on the north coast of New South Wales. And of course, tourism is one of those great industries that continues to grow. And it's built on the back of the pristine and beauty of the environment here on the north coast. Those are the reasons why these six local government areas have been excluded and made no-go zones forever. Well, what it means in real terms is that if Labor is elected in March 2015, the pause button will be pushed. Uh, I've been very conscious, uh, as someone who got involved in politics just recently, that people, and I understand, rightly so, that people are sick and tired of politicians who make promises from opposition and then get to government and can't meet those promises. Uh, I've said from the start, I'm not going to be one of those people that says anything and everything in opposition to get to government and then go, oh, sorry, we can't do it. Every policy that we've announced, uh, I'm confident that we'll be able to deliver. I've announced some policies, not in this area, but in other areas where I've actually implemented them from opposition when it comes to things like integrity measures. Uh, I haven't just said, oh, I would do this if we were in government. I've actually applied the integrity measures now. Uh, I've always said I don't want to be judged just by what I say, but what I do. Well, one of the things that's happened up here is that 87% of the people in this region have said no to coal seam gas. I've been quite open in saying, look, I'm happy to go and sit down with the people in the Clarence as well and talk to them about what's going on in that region as well. But I've spent a lot of time up here talking to tourism operators, the agricultural producers in this area, as well as the locals. Uh, it's very clear up here that there are a number of reasons why this area should be a no-go zone, and, and I've outlined those previously. Tourism, agricultural production, the growth and export opportunities in that area. It's critical that we protect this region. It's always going to be an issue when you draw a line and someone falls outside that line. But this is a major announcement. This is a huge step forward to protect the Northern Rivers for all time against coal seam gas exploration and extraction. It makes the next election a real choice for people who live in this region. 
A vote for Labor is a vote to protect the environment, ensure that there is a growth in tourism, a growth in exports, whether it's milk, whether it's sugar or other agricultural production like beef, uh, or the National Party, who want to actually allow this to continue. The announcement this government has made is an announcement to get them over the next election. Come September next year, if the Liberals and Nationals form government, sure as night follows day, it'll be let a rip on coal seam gas exploration and extraction. And today is a huge step in guaranteeing this region will remain pristine, that the environment will be protected, that the water catchments will be protected, that the job opportunities that are built on the back of the beauty and diversity of this environment will be protected for all time and for future generations. I've said all along that we ought to push the pause button until we fully understand the full impacts on groundwaters, on water aquifers, and there's a complete and thorough understanding and the science is properly developed. The one thing about coal seam gas is it's not like cheese in the fridge that's going to go off. It can stay there until such times as we fully understand the impacts that it might have on our environment. But the fundamental issue has got to be we must protect the environment and in particular we must protect our precious water sources right across New South Wales. Okay. Thanks everyone.